What's up everyone, this is Bam Black Ops and we're playing some Mega Coin Squad, the new Xbox One game. And we are getting the Diamonds Are Forever achievement. This is a massive god. I'm going to break this up into four different videos. And basically what we need to do is collect every single available gem of every single level in all four worlds. In this first level, I'm also going to get the Gotta Catch Em All achievement, which asks us to get all the available gems in a single world. And then I'm also going to get the achievement for getting all the gems in a single level. But basically it's all the same thing. I'm going to get all the gems in this level and get an achievement. And then I'm going to get all the gems for the entire world completely. And then lastly I'm going to get all of the gems um, for every single world. As opposed to just this first one. There's a, there's like a, a green world and there's a sand world and there's a ice world and a lava world. Very typical video game stuff. I'm not going to talk during the whole thing because each video is probably going to be anywhere from 6, 7, 8, 9 minutes long. Something like that. But basically, all I have, to, all you have to do is fill the uh, quota for what you need to do to get all the gems. So all of this one, first one, I'm gonna get in a second here. Once I get all my coins, like I just got here, 150 of them, uh, then I'm gonna come up to the to the pig. I'm gonna put it in. You can see what's gonna pop up here. These requirements for the gems are pretty much the exact same thing every single time. You gotta get it under their specific time limit that they ask for, and in this case, it was a minute and 20. You gotta get all of the coins in one single bank, which means you can't get 10 coins and then bank it into the pig and then get 10 more coins and then bank it into the pig and so on and so forth you got to get all of the 150 in one single go and then you cannot lose any lives and i took that as just never even getting hit at all so that's what i always did i just never got hit or if i did get hit i quickly restarted which wasn't too hard this in general this first world was pretty easy after that it was kind of difficult i'm going to skip going into this world too once you beat a level you kind of get to do this and depending on how many gems you get is you get to get these bonus things right here but I wanted to show you this one in particular because that's what you need to get. Make sure you get double jump on your first attempt because it is golden. You absolutely need it. And then go for these if you can next. It's a time bonus. It'll help you be able to get it under that time limit uh, more often because they kind of they kind of give you more of a they give you more time to play with for getting the gem in a time limit. Uh, and that's one of your biggest difficulties is making sure you get it. For the most part, it's pretty easy to get all of them within the time. I got 250 here in two minutes. That's not too difficult. So for the most part, it's definitely doable, but having those little boosts is helpful. I'm going to keep on talking just a little bit. In the other videos, I won't probably talk quite as this much. But this one, I'm kind of giving an overall tutorial in general on, on a couple tips and what to do. That room after you get all the gems, once you once you beat a level, you're gonna go through like a little a little bonus section kind of to give you almost like RPG upgrades, and they could be anything from giving that double jump that I talked about earlier to uh, making the fireball that you could shoot out bigger or wider shot, or making your boost, which I'm gonna do a boost jump thingy here in a second I think to get him. No, I killed him with the fireball. Anyway, when you're in midair, you kind of can dash across. And if you use one of those um, in midair, you that one right there, that's a little dash that I just did. There's uh, upgrades to make that dash more powerful and longer, longer distance and all that kind of stuff. So all of those things are upgrades that you can get. You definitely want to start off by getting some of the more important ones, like I said, with giving yourself a little bit more time and, or, and the double jump and so on and so forth. And here it is again. I got it under the two minutes. I did it all in one bank, which again is you can get 10 coins and then you can bank it to like save yourself. But for the sake of this, to get all these, these gems, you don't want to do that. If it asks you, and this one right here, it's going to ask us to get 300 coins. I can't just say, all right, I'm going to get 100 coins and then bank it and then get 50 more and then bank it and then get 150 more and then I'm done and, and think that I'm good. I'm not going to be set like that. I'm actually going to uh, miss out on that one gem because you have to get all of them, all 300 in one bank. So um, anyway, once you do all those type of things, it's very important for to try to get really cool and, and helpful things during that little upgrade process when that little... You jump on one of those blocks. I skipped it for the last one because I didn't want to show it in every single one. But I'm getting helpful things, like I said, like you can even upgrade your the power-up machine guns and all that kind of stuff that you get. There's like a little P block box right there. I barely even touched in these early levels because I was kind of just playing around with the game in general. And you don't need them because they're on a million enemies and your fireball and your little dash is gonna be good enough. But right there, an assault rifle just dropped down. And I didn't see I didn't even worry about it. I just skipped right by it because Later on, that's going to be golden. I will never skip out on something like that. But for the sake of this, I it, it's pretty much a cakewalk. I didn't really think about having to destroy all these enemies because the enemies are very easy. This first world is pretty simple. The second world 
a lot harder. I thought the third world was easier than the second, and then the fourth world, they just throw everything at you, which is obvious. It's a video game. The hardest world is the most difficult one. I'm going to be done talking now because my voice is probably getting obnoxious. I think I have one more world to go here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna just not going to be done talking. Oh, well. I just, whatever. You're going to have to hear my obnoxious voice. Deal with it. After the first three levels of each world, the fourth level isn't a coin collecting one anymore. It's a just kill the enemy one. So right here, I'm going to get this cool assault rifle here. And you can see it's just going to be a, a random normal assault rifle. You can see just bullets flying out like that. Later on, once I upgrade this thing a bunch, it just it's a ridiculous gun. It shoots every single direction, left and right, massive bullets and all that kind of stuff. And that is what you get when you beat a level. That's another reason why getting all those gems, other than for this achievement, is helpful. Because it gives you um, more turns to hit that spinning block. Almost like Super Mario World when it was like a, you know, it was like a fire flower or a cape or whatever or a star it's similar to that kind of stuff you get upgrades that you're gonna get better stuff like a magnet is really awesome in this game if you get the magnet out of those little pee boxes sounds weird and sexual uh then you get to have the, all the coins will fly to you super fast and all that kind of stuff all right i'm gonna be done talking for over this time there's the achievement pop for gotta catch them all because i got all of the um, right there it is for all of the coins in a single world all the gems excuse me in a single world and basically We're just gonna rinse wash repeat We're gonna do that for the rest of the worlds the next three worlds And then we're gonna get the entire achievement for diamonds are forever. This is a pretty fun game It's really simple sometimes it's a little frustrating because a couple of levels get insane, but I like it a lot It's a fun game. I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm probably gonna do way less talking on the other ones because this one I kind of just Splurted out all of the random tidbits of information that I had, but thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it more stuff on the way Gangbadsession.com all that fun stuff blah 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 blah